Hi everyone. We did a Q&A on Friday on our Instagram story and I thought I'd make a video um, just to go over some of those questions that we've had from you guys. So let me get into it. First one we've got is, are you going to pause in the park this year? Um, yeah, we are. We went last year and yeah, it was really good fun. There's so many things to do. That was, I don't know if any of you seen the video with TJ jumping over the hurdles, but that was a pause in the park. I'll chuck that up now. Um, but there's loads of fun stuff to do, loads of dog stalls, loads of food um, for dogs and humans. So yeah, we'll definitely be going there. In fact, I looked at getting a stand for our TJ Pro supplements. Um, so potentially we could do that, um, but we'll be going to the one in Kent in September. What's your dog's favorite person in the family? It would probably be Molly, my partner. He'll always choose to sit with her over me, but he will listen to me over her, so. I'm the uh, I'm the boss, and she's the uh, she's the one that he goes to when I tell him off. <laughs> Next up, how old is TJ? TJ is nearly two, so his second birthday will be on the 19th of March. So we're trying to plan um, something to do for that. So if anybody's got any good ideas of anything we could do in London, um, give us a shout. Next up is. I'm very interested in having a Frenchie, but I've heard they have health problems. Advice. So this was something that was a sort of a concern for us when we were looking into getting a Frenchie. You want to look into uh, different breeders. You want to make sure it's a trusted breeder. And you want to make sure both parents have been um, health checked as well. So I know both of TJ's parents had a ton of health checks, including BOAS tests, and they both got great scores on the BOAS tests, um, which means they're not gonna, well, more than likely not going to have breathing issues um, if both the parents have got good scores on those BOAS tests. So yeah, look at sort of trustable breeders, not someone that's just selling on some dodgy page or whatever. And yeah, make sure that you can see the parents and, and their health checks as well. So what do you use for wrinkles and tear stains? So we use Squish Face, uh, wrinkle paste and wrinkle wipes. Um, we've been working with them for a while as well. So. Um, all of our followers get 10% discount, but basically you use the wipes to clean the folds and they're quite gentle. And we use the wrinkle paste in the skin folds and that helps clean them out, but also get rid of tear stains and it sort of makes a protective seal as well so that it keeps moisture out. Next up, does TJ also suffer from itching in pores and ears due to an allergy? So he used to, and his pores used to get really red as well. In fact, I think sometimes in the summer it gets bad if we're walking in like particular fields and stuff. But it's not been bad for quite a while now. Um, but I think a lot of that was down to his food and his diet. He was eating like um, kibble and yeah, that, he just didn't get on with that at all. So we've, we've switched his food now. It's much better. How are you with other dogs? I'm super excited or I'm super unsure. Um, I'm assuming that's TJ and not me. No, TJ gets really excited. Um, when we're walking off the lead and there'll be another dog in the distance, he'll like, he'll stop, he'll crouch down, he'll wait, and then he'll suddenly spring at them. Sometimes other dogs don't like it, sometimes they do, but there, he just wants to play and chase, but yeah, he's, he gets, he gets so excited. Health issues to look out for. So I think probably Boas is the biggest one and it's becoming sort of warm, more well known, which is their breathing issue. Obviously they have a short palate so they do get breathing issues snoring stuff like that um he doesn't actually have too much of an issue especially even in the summer he doesn't really get too bad it's only when it's really hot obviously he won't go out on a walk but then you wouldn't you wouldn't take any dog out on a walk when it's like that so yeah i think boas is probably the biggest one next from a little rascal pug are you a toy destroyer like me um no, TJ luckily is not a toy destroyer. I think since we've had him, he's destroyed like one or two toys. Yeah, which is good. Um, and also he's not really chewed anything around the house, which is nice, but um, he does have a lot of toys and he does like to, when he gets excited, throw his toy box on the floor and chuck his toys everywhere. <laughs> and lastly, what's your favorite snack? What is your favorite snack? He likes everything, to be honest. I was cooking some pork the other night and he was just standing there and there was drool running out of his mouth. So just any meat, I think <laughs> he loves, but um, he is a foodie. But yeah, so that's all the questions we're gonna do for today. We'll look to do more Q and A's, maybe every couple of weeks, something like that. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. Say bye, Teach.